We begin the evening in the featherweight ranks in about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Now making his way to the glory ring, a former WKA North American champion, here is Jose Palacios. Jose El Matador Palacios taking this fight on very short notice, filling in for Shane Oblonsky, who hurt his knee. Palacios, a southpaw, making his debut in the glory ring. I like this guy. He's a very stylistic fighter. I actually saw him fight in the Road to Glory qualification tournament in Milwaukee earlier this year. Very good technique. Um, he's the, the American version of Giorgio Petrosian, actually. Reminds me a lot of Petrosian. His opponent was the winner of the WKN Oriental Championships. Please welcome Gabriel Varga. Twenty-eight-year-old Gabriel Varga, hailing from uh, my neck of the woods, beautiful British Columbia. In fact, lives in the provincial capital of Victoria. Rank number six in the Glory Featherweight rankings. One and one in the Glory Ring and. While introduced to the martial arts by his dad, Keith, a boxer in Karataka, very much self-trained. Yeah, he's a lifelong martial artist. I know this guy's been hungry to fight, fight for glory, and show he's one of the top fighters. I expect a very uh, spirited performance from him this evening. And here are the numbers for our opening contest. Got a two-year difference in age, almost the same height. They both weighed in close to the, the maximum of 143 pounds, and they almost got the same reach. This is going to be a very equally matched fight with the stats we have tonight. Glory belts are scored by three judges using the 10-point must system, applying a prioritized criterion that values knockdowns, impact on the opponent, and scoring with spectacular technique. There are no elbow strikes, throws, takedowns, submission attempts, or striking a down fighter. Fighters can only clinch if they immediately attack with knee strikes. Each bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds with a potential for an extra sudden victory round if the bout is scored a draw. Here once again is Tim Hughes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this featherweight super fight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner, he is an ISKA super welterweight champion. His professional record, 44 wins with 12 losses, making his glory debut in Chicago tonight. Standing 5 feet 9 inches, 1.75 meters, and weighing in at fight time at an even 142 pounds, 65.5 kilos, fighting out of Nicaragua, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, introducing Jose El Matador Palacios. His opponent will fight opposite the ring and out of the white corner, an ISKA amateur world light welterweight champion. His record, 22 wins with just two losses. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, weighing in at 143 pounds, 64.9 kilograms, and fighting out of Canada, he is currently ranked number six in the glory world rankings. Please welcome Gabriel Varga. And your referee for this contest is Chris Wagner. Knockdown, you go to the neutral corner, I tell you, you go to main that's how I pull you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard, touch gloves. Referee Chris Wagner giving last minute instructions. Palacios, a former student of former Strike Force champion, now UFC vet Kung Lee, while Varga has been training in Muay Thai and kickboxing for 13 years. Fight. 
the bell, and round one, scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Glory Featherweight Division. Varga in the white gloves, Palacios in the black immediately. Palacios attacking with the low outside leg kick. Coming forward, the southpaw stance, nice punch kick combination by Varga. So plenty of action here in the early going. Outside leg kick to the lead leg by Palacios. Inside leg kick by Varga, but he's on the ropes. So both of them early on, Duke mixing it up with the punches and the kicks. Yeah, I'm impressed with both of the guys' speed and technique. Uh, he's got to start checking those leg kicks, though, otherwise he's going to slow him down. Nice check, nice counter. Uh, but definitely, uh, I like what I see from both fighters. In the clinch, delivering knee strikes. Varga coming forward, right hand to the side of the head by Palacios. One minute gone in the opening frame. Actually, Palacios fought earlier this year in uh, the Road to Glory tournament as a lightweight. He actually feels that he's not that he's at featherweight, he's at his real fight weight. And he was impressive in a higher weight class. So it's good to see him looking sharp here in his own weight class. But Varga is, is he's a tough customer too. Nice to meet you. Palacios wrestled in high school, has a mixed martial arts background as well, but making his first appearance in the glory win under Roy Kickboxing Rules. And on the attack, Varga now that's going back to his block by Palacios. Just past the midway point of the opening round. Right up the clock, this is by Varga. Tyson, Tyson, Tyson! Right hand by Varga connects. Tyson! Nice counter left by Palacios. Uh, Nick Palacios is doing great with his counters, but he's admiring his work a little bit. He'll, 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 be, he'll hit a nice clean shot and he can keep going. You know, he's, he's, he's watching it. He's not following up and trying to finish the job. Spinning. Heel kick missed by Varga. Final minute of the first round. Palacios walking down Varga. They clinch again. Referee Chris Wagner will call for the break again. No clinching allowed, but if you clinch, you can automatically deliver a knee strike. And that will be allowed, but there is no holding on. Nice body work by Varga, but good counter attack by Palacios. Inside leg kick by Varga, but Palacios slips the straight left through the guard. 30 seconds left in the round. Low inside kick by Varga, coming forward now, picking up the pace. Walking Palacios down, inside the kicks. Come on, come on, come on. Another low inside leg kick. Ten seconds. Final ten seconds of an action-packed opening round. Ten Looking seconds. Canada's Gabriel Varga, Nicaragua's Jose El Matador Palacios. And that liver shot knocks Palacios down at the bow. So just before the bell, the liver shot drops Palacios and somewhere El Wapo Boss wound is smiling, Duke. We'll be back with more from the Glory Super Fight Series right after this. You're watching the Glory Super Fight Series. Glad you're back with us. So late drama in the opening round as Varga dropped Palacios with a liver shot just before the bell. He had a slight edge in power strikes. According to strike stats, Varga with 11 power strikes in the last three minutes. Palacios with eight. Needless to say, Duke a steady round for the Canadian. Yes, definitely. Yeah, knockdowns always are going to rule. Rule. You're doing damage and putting people on their butt. You're going to win rounds big with that extra point. Varga in the white gloves. Palacios in the black in a sense of urgency now for the Southpaw Palacios you after go. getting dropped in the opening round. You go. Nice. Kick by Palacios. Nice. Palacios corner complaining that it was a slip. The replay didn't show that. That was a clean liver shot that dropped him in that opening round, dude. Yes, sir. I mean, uh, he, he heard him with that. That's why he dropped to the man. Uh, Barker's actually oh starting to show him a nice, tasty body combination. That's all right. He's going back to the body and trying to really get him. It worked before. He knows he can hurt him again. That's what I like. You got to stay. If it's working, you stay out. Where's my left after that? Oh! 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 Minute 45 left in the second stanza. Outside leg kick by Varga, spinning back fist misses. Left hand, left hand. Left hand after the right hand. Knee to the belly there by Varga. Body work now by Varga. A 
Again, Palacios taking the fight on a week's notice after Shayna Blonsky suffered a knee injury. And he's in trouble here as the Canadian showing why he's a top 10 ranked featherweight. Misses with that spinning back fist. Less than a minute remaining in the second stanza. I'm really impressed with Bardo. Again, going back to the body. I love it. Really mixing up his attack and utilizing all of his weapons from punches, knees, and kicks. While Palacio trying to get on track with him, gets another left to the body and the spinning back kick by Varga. So Varga really keeping Palacio on his heels. I think he's smart going to the body because when you take a fight on short notice, you gotta cut weight hard. And when someone cuts weight hard, hit him to the body. That's the first place you're gonna hurt him on a weight cut. Jacks the jump, Palacios, a knee by Varga. Another left knee, and that's a one-two combination. And again, Palacios in the world of trouble along the ropes with 15 seconds left as he smiles at Varga. And we all know what that means in the fight game. 10 seconds left now, spinning back kick to the back. And it's all Gabriel Varga here at Glory 11. Glory Super Fight Series action and some super work by the Canadian Varga so far in this fight, Duke. Yeah, man, uh, I'm just loving his well-rounded attacks. He goes to the body, upstairs, downstairs, hits the legs, follows up with a spin kick, follows up with a spin back fist. Here's our arm strike. Here's our okay, strikes here. I love it. The arm strikes I love Gabriel Varga. It. He's dominating that with, with the amount that's thrown. He's landed 47, thrown 113, where Palacios has only thrown 75 and landed 31. Big, big, Varga, big combo by Varga mixing it up. Nice short hook, good short right hand. Stays right in the, the grill there. Comes back, Palacios. Nice uppercut on the inside. The knee to the face, another knee to the face. Beautiful combo to finish it up. Round three. Fight! The bell and round three, the final Back round, turn. and a huge edge in punches left in the second round for Gabriel Varga. 32 to 9, the edge ball. Ranello along with Duke of Rufus and a Ron Crook on hand here for the Glory Super Fight Series. And Palacio now has to let it all hang out. Coming forward in the black gloves, but Varga in the white gloves, and he is putting on a show there as he. Look to give Palacios a haircut with that spinning wheel. Ah. Left mighty, kick mighty to the body by Palacios, and he eats a left kick to the head. The fighter that is pretty much self-trained. The told us that he really doesn't like fighting, but does it because he loves training and feels that fighting is the only way he'll be able to continue training full time. He's a very chill individual. In fact, he told us he likes to listen to Jack Johnson in the dressing room before the fight, but he is all action in the ring. He's got a very aggressive style for a guy that's so chill. Uh, very intelligent fighter. He mixes up his shots well and get like that great great. And needless to say, for Palacios, he needs a finish in the third round. He wants to win this fight. Yes, definitely. If I were him, I'd open it up. He's got to go for broke. Don't save anything. Nice Push kick by Varga, outside leg kick by Palacios, down the left hand by Varga in the stop, trench stop. now, and referee Wagner will call for the break. A minute and a half left in this fight. Push kick by Palacios, backing up Varga, there's a spinning hook kick by Palacios. Stiff jab, uppercut misses by Varga. Definitely, I think Varga's ahead comfortably, but I like what he's doing while he's ahead. He's going for broke. He wants to finish the fight. That's why we tune into Glory, gang. We want to see some knockouts. Right hand by Varga, who has Palacios along the ropes. Varga told us he loves that left hook to the body, the liver shot, but has also been working on front kicks to the face. Still the ball to look out there. That's less than a minute now remaining, and a bit of a fire fight beginning to unfold. Palacios, again, taking the fight on short notice, and, and it begins to reflect the fact that conditioning may be a factor for him. Definitely, you can see it, but uh, no in this game. Spirit. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people but, here tonight. He's definitely shown that he's a fighter. Win or lose, you know, you got to take your head off the, the kid. Spinning back kick by Varga. Backs on Palacios. Less than 30 seconds left in the fight. Straight right hand through the guard by Varga. Another double jab. Right hand to the body. 
Varga putting on a show here at the Glory Super Fight Series with 15 seconds left. Seconds of what has been a tremendous effort Go! by Canada's Gabriel Varga. Fantastic effort, Alain Hamajani, well-respected uh, Canadian kickboxing coach in Gabriel Varga's corner, and not uh, hard to ascertain why he is a top 10 ranked featherweight after a performance like that tonight. Yeah, they actually did want to have one signature moves here. that face me inside. They just, I was very well, very impressed by his well-rounded skills, from spinning strikes to, to body shots and great combos. Meanwhile, for Palacios, taking the fight on short notice, may have come up short here tonight. All right. But was fighting till the end as we take a look at the action from this fight. Again, great liver shot in the first round. That got him up in front. Here we are in the second round. That's that knee to the face, followed by that left hook. Nice uppercut on the inside. Incredible combo, great knee to the face. Sportsmanship at the end of the fight. Total punch landed according to strike stats. Varga 73, Palacios 47 again. Palacios went down courtesy of a liver shot at the end of round one. And uh, let's take a look at some of the numbers and which numbers jump out at you the most. I would say for uh, Varga, it's the, the aggression, what he landed, his total strike number, his output is what won the fight. And again, his power strikes is what I think won the fight. You know, landing that many amount of power strikes, he was very definitive in his performance tonight. Here's Tim Hughes with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we send it to the judges' scorecard, and they give us a unanimous decision, scoring this bout 30-26, 30-27, and 30-27, all for your winner, fighting out of the white corner, Gabriel Varga! So Gabriel Varga improves to 2-1 and one in the glory ring.